Hello, so we've already done the system schema video uh, with the kid jetpack uh, bit. When we first looked at that, I didn't have air on there. I added air when we did the free body force diagram for the kid jetpack air. Um, now I want to take a look at the Newton's third law pair of stuff. Oops, that's a little bit too far. Um, computers, <laughs> computers struggling. Um, aren't we all? Come on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go, computer. <laughs> for Pete's sakes. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Okay, well, that's pretty close. So that's probably close enough. I don't know where that thing came from. There we go. Okay, so now we'll look at, um, let's see. We'll go, uh, come on. There we go. Um, and we'll go with, oh. So now we'll go with the, um, oh, that doesn't look right. Um, the Newton's uh, third law pairs. So Newton's third law pairs, right? Um, there are a couple of ways to look at them. And instead of moving the screen around, I'm going to see if I can like, shrink it a smidge bit see if that is a little bit smoother because moving it around it's taken me forever to get the screen in the right spot <laughs> for pete's sakes um okay let's see <clears throat> good lord good times good times battery's running low it's plugged in it's plugged in. <clears throat> the light is on for it being plugged in, and it's plugged in. You'd be okay. Jeez. about this all right that might work good lord um what can go wrong all right so back to the newton's third law pairs um there have been some weird computer things with my plugged in computer saying the battery was going to die so edit edit here we go um so the Newton's third law pairs. We've already done the system schema for the kid with the jetpack. We've done the force diagram, free, free body diagrams, talking about the Newton's third law pairs. R remember, when we do the system schema, every arrow represents an interaction, and the interaction always comes in pairs. So if we go back to um, like this arrow up here, the jetpack and the air interacting well that means that the jetpack pushes on the air the air pushes on the jetpack so that's a newton's third law pair um that means those two forces have to oops not um air pushes air air pushes jetpack my bad um, so those forces are a Newton's third law pair, the push of the jetpack on the air, the air on the jetpack. That's a Newton's third law pair. They have to be same size, opposite direction. Have to be, will always be. There are other forces that are sometimes same size, opposite direction, but not always. Um, so when we're looking at the Newton's third law pairs and we're trying to address those in this free body diagram, uh, we can say, okay, none, none of the forces here pair up with other forces here to be a Newton's third law pair. So now that sounds weird, but to clarify, the thrust force of the air on the kid and jetpack is not a Newton's third law pair with the gravitational force of the earth on the kid. Just isn't. They might occasionally be the same size, but they will not always be the same size. The gravitational force of the earth on the kid 
and the normal force of the, the sidewalk on the kid, those two are not a Newton's third law pair. They might occasionally be the same size, but they will not always be the same size. Um, so when we're looking at Newton's third law pairs, what we're saying for this example, there's the normal force of the sidewalk on the kid. The third law pair is the force not of the sidewalk on the kid, but of the kid on the sidewalk. And those two forces will always, no matter what, be the same size and opposite direction. The negative sign just means they're opposite direction. It doesn't mean that this one's bad or that this one must be to the left or must be down. I'm just saying that they're, that they're different sizes. Um, that's all. Or pardon me, different directions. Uh, my, uh, I'm getting a battery error issue again. Um, so... Uh, that would be one third law pair. Now I look at the other force that I've got here. I've got, um, oh, good Lord. We've got the thrust force of the air on the kid. Well, the Newton's third law pair to that uh, is, oddly enough, the thrust force of the kid on the air. That's the jet pack. So this is like the uh, jetpack pushing the kid and skateboard one direction. This is the kid and skateboard and jetpack pushing the air the other direction, right? So um, when we have the that, um, there's with this interaction, this air particle pushing the rocket forward, there's the air pushing the rocket forward, this air particle is then going to get pushed back. When this air particle hits that hits that boundary, hits that the front end of that jet pack, it's going to push the jet pack this way. And then that air particle is also, in that same interaction, going to get pushed that way. Those two forces must be same size. And then that negative sign means they're in the opposite direction. Then lastly, we've got the gravitational force of the Earth on the kid in the jet pack. That must be always same size, opposite direction of the kid on the earth. Same size for equal. The negative sign is just telling us opposite direction. Um, so they must be same size, opposite direction. And this is one that feels kind of weird, but the interaction of the earth pulling you down, you're also interacting with the earth pulling the earth up. It's just that the earth is stinking huge and we are nowhere near the mass of the earth. So we see, like if we jump, we experience or other people see the person moving. We don't notice any of the interactions while we're in the air. We notice the person slowing down on the way up. We notice the person moving down um, when they come back down to hit the ground. We don't notice the earth moving because, well, the mass of the earth is huge. So that earth is not going to accelerate as much. So these would be the Newton's third law pairs. I went through and just said, hey, this is one of the forces in my free body diagram. This is the other force in my free body diagram. And this is the final force in my three bo free body diagram or force diagram. And I'm just addressing what the Newton's third law pairs are to each of those. Hopefully that helps you with your uh, Newton's third law pair stuff.